If you regularly stay in hotels, chances are you've been invited to join a loyalty programme. Since 1987, Hilton Honours has been the guest loyalty programme for the group's brands. To Hilton, the Honours programme is more than just a loyalty scheme. It was really meant to be a scratch-off ticket at the front desk when you stayed. You got a reward every time you came in the hotel. Over the years, it's become a lot more than that, though. Now it's much more about a club for all travellers where we engage you every single stay. When you stay at the hotels, you earn points. The more you stay, the higher status you receive. Those points can then be used for hotel stays, exchanging for airline miles, even using the Amazon store. There's also an auction site for bidding on unique experiences, such as with Live Nation and McLaren Honda Formula One. However you use your points, for Hilton, it's more than just filling empty rooms. At the core of Hilton Honors, it's getting to know these customers. And there's actually no better marketing I can think of than the ability to know who the customers are, know what their motivations are, know how to deliver against those motivations, and know how much dollar opportunity is available for those customers. And so when you look at the ROI of a loyalty program, it is phenomenal. It is truly at the core of our commercial engine. Effectively, when you stay with us, we're paying a bit into the pot to help for rewards later. And then when you redeem your points, we're using that money to pay back the hotels for that reward stay. And that payment pot is important when many Hilton properties are owned by franchisees, particularly when up to 15% of occupied rooms can be reward nights. We have these great franchisee partners that help us build the network. They have to grow with us successfully. We've got to make sure we have a profitable business for them as well, because when owners are profiting off the business, they can then reinvest in the customer experience. With millions of stays by millions of members around the globe, it means vast amounts of data is collected about their customers. It allows Hilton to tailor their offering to the individual. That wasn't always the case. Loyalty always was a one-size-fits-all for the entire world. The technology just didn't exist and candidly the data wasn't there. As we've been more focused on it and as we get to know our customers better, we can deliver a truly global program that's not about customers like you, it's about you. The data reveals some interesting insights into how travellers differ around the world. In some parts of the world, it truly is about earning the status and being recognised for your tier achievement. In other parts of the world, it's about earning those points and being able to redeem those points. In Asia Pacific, it's about food and beverage and other experiences you can have when you're in a hotel, even if you're not staying there, but just in your neighbourhood. So it's important that Hilton Honors work globally and consistently as a platform, but differ to meet the needs of both our travellers, the hotels and the countries in which we're operating across the world. Honours plays a massive part of the chain's marketing activity. The reason to them is clear. It's much more efficient, it's much more effective and candidly much more fun to engage your current customers and have them stay with you more and more often. So when you look at the ROI, one of our Diamond members spends as much as almost 16 non-Hilton Honors members. So you think about all the investment you can make in retaining that customer, that's a lot of opportunity. So is it all worth it? And how does Hilton know? There are a number of different metrics we use to measure the success of Hilton Honors like any other marketing spend we have. The first is certainly customer engagement, that's the easy one. But of the customers who join, how many are active at any given time? How much engagement are we receiving? Who's opted in to receive our email communications is certainly a core metric on the leading indicator side of the house. As you move further in the program, we're looking at share of wallet. So how much do you spend overall in our category? And how much does Hilton currently have? For a Diamond member, that might be as much as 70 or 80% of their entire spend in the wallet. And for a Blue member, that might be 5 or 6%. Now, if that customer is traveling with our competition, that's a huge opportunity to market even further into that customer relationship. So we're very focused on share of wallet. We're also focused on value of customer, not just today, but total lifetime value and potential value, as well as are we accelerating the velocity in which we're receiving that spend and engagement with each customer. If you think about the bakery down the street, if they offered you the 13th croissant for free, but the first 12 weren't very good, you wouldn't find that very compelling. That's what a loyalty scheme would be on its own. Underneath it has to be brands, hotels, experiences that customers love, and that's what we're focused on. That's the heartbeat, that, that's the soul of Hilton Honors. Hilton Honors is just the connective tissue that makes it all work and puts a branding around it. Hello, I'm James Wright. Thanks for watching Marketing Media Money. To check out more online videos, just click on the boxes and don't forget to subscribe to the CNBC Life channel at the bottom of the screen.